Hasselbeck triangle. So it's one of the important triangle in the a part of, as a part of an inguinal canal. So this triangle just going to make. Okay, this is an abdomen. Here, just I'm drawing the. This is the midline, and this is the rectus abdominis on both the sides, and this is the lateral border of rectus abdominis muscle. Okay, and uh, this yellow line is the inguinal ligament. We already discussed inguinal ligament that extends from anterior superior iliac spine to pubic tubercle. Okay, then. And this is this green line represents an inferior epigastric vessel. Okay, so so first I will tell you that the boundaries of the triangle. Okay, this yellow line, this yellow line is there, no? So this yellow line, that particularly the medial half of the inguinal ligament, that forms the lower boundary of the triangle, and this green. line that is the inferior epigastric vessels that is forming the lateral boundary and this pink line that is forming the medial boundary that is formed by the lateral border of the rectus abdominis muscle okay so this 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 is the this blue color represents the hasselbach triangle okay the what is the importance of triangle is it's mainly formed by the posterior wall of the inguinal canal so there is a weakness uh, you can get in this posterior wall that causes the herniation so all the direct inguinal hernia will come will come through the hasselbach triangle so that is the importance of the triangle so any herniation you can think of In this triangle, you have to think of a direct inguinal hernia.